Ah uh, yes, the screens you get when you first start up a game that basically functions as credits for companies. Every game has them and they aren't that bad. So why rant about them? One reason, the ones you can't skip. Yeah, you know those. You hit start, the damn logo just sits there on the screen. You can mash it as much as you want, but it doesn't matter. It ain't going anywhere. Seriously, why make us wait to play the game? Are you so proud of your graphics department that spent all that time making the logo three years ago that you feel the need to make us sit through every single time? We know you made a good game. Good job, too. Now how about you let us play it in a timely manner? I mean, sure. Some games only have one you can't skip, and others have a whole bunch that you can skip. But I think we can all agree that being able to skip makes the whole thing feel shorter. But the worst, the worst games are where you can skip a few, and then ends with one that you can't skip at all. That just makes you want to drive a car over a cliff while it's falling down, you hit a remote detonator that you put in there to ignite all the gasoline inside and turn everything into a great big fireball that will cleanse the world of its crappiness. You know, it'll be a good day when you can skip every logo, but until then, this is still really annoying me, so I'm gonna just keep on ranting about it.